In this video, we are going to see polar plot of a zero at origin. And the way we can write this in S form is simply S. Okay. Now, for plotting a polar plot, we substitute S with J omega and vary omega from 0 to infinity and take magnitude and phase angles of this function, okay, which is here simply S and plot it on a complex plane. For now, just see how it is represented on S plane, okay, which we come across in root locus techniques. Okay, this, rep this will be represented like this, which means it is a 0, which is represented with a circle. Okay, this is a real axis on S plane and J omega imaginary axis. Okay, now when we substitute S with J omega, this function becomes J omega. And if you write this in magnitude and phase angle form, it will be omega times tan inverse of omega over 0, okay, which will be tan inverse of infinity. We can write this as omega angle 90 degrees. Now, if we change omega from 0 to infinity and take values of m, m is omega and phi is plus 90 degrees, which is independent of omega in this case. Okay, m is going to be 0 and phi is 90 degrees and if we change omega, m is going to increase proportional to omega because m is omega. Okay, so when omega tends to infinity, m tends to infinity, but the phase angle is not going to change, which is going to be same, 90 degrees. If you represent this on a complex plane, okay, we have seen already the angle measured in the anti-clockwise direction is positive, okay, and the angle measured in the clockwise direction is negative, okay. So if here we see that it is plus 90 degrees all the time. So if you look at this, if we have a point on this imaginary axis that is positive imaginary axis, then the angle will be 90 degrees on this line, okay. On this line, the angle will be 90 degrees plus 90 degrees. Okay, so the whole plot is going to be only on this imaginary line. Now, if we try plotting that on this plot, okay, when omega is 0, we have this point, and as omega increases, m increases on this line, okay. This arrow marks, we have already seen why we represent in this direction because omega is increasing. So that is how we are getting these plots. That is the direction in which we represent the arrow marks. So it increases towards infinity. This point is when omega equals 0 and it tends to infinity as omega tends to infinity. This is how the polar plot looks for a 0 at origin. When I say origin, it is origin of S plane. This is a complex plane okay this is a plane this is different and this is a different complex plane okay